Welcome to BricsCAD Drafting. Let's explore the drafting interface. This is BricsCAD's start screen. Here you can change between the various workspaces depending on your licensing level. Currently, the drafting workspace is active. You can see the files you have recently worked on and you can quickly reopen them. You have the option to quickly start a new drawing. You can open a submenu, allowing you to choose from several drawing templates and units to use for the new drawing. You can also click the Open Drawing button to open an existing drawing through the file browser. On the left side of the screen, there are tabs for more content. The Learn tab has sample files that you can download, as well as links to tutorials on the Brixis Help Center. In the Applications tab, you can find third-party extensions to BricsCAD to help you customize and optimize your workflow. Click the BricsCAD logo in the top left corner to open a drop-down menu. Here you can access several options for your drawing. Use the New Wizard option to start a more customized drawing. Here you can browse for any template files you have created. The ribbon, located on the top of the screen, gives you access to the drafting tools. There are several tabs for different sets of tools. Left-click on any tool to activate it. Many of the top-level tools offer submenus. Left-click on the arrow to expand the selection. The middle of the screen is your drafting space where you create, edit and view your drawings. In the top right of the modeling space is the Look From tool. Use this to orientate and navigate the model space. On the right side of the screen you will find another toolbar with several relevant panels. To find all the other panels available in BricsCAD, simply right-click anywhere on the ribbon and hover over Panels. Here you can see any active panels and open more. On the bottom of your screen, you will see the command line. Here you can type in commands and select any available options for an active command. Through the settings, it is possible to enable a floating frame for the command line. All panels in BricsCAD are movable and you are able to dock them in several locations of the user interface. Here the command line is used as an example. To enable clean screen, Right-click the ribbon and select it from the drop-down menu. Enter Clean Screen into the command line or use the Ctrl plus zero keyboard shortcut. This will remove parts of the user interface and give you more drawing space. Through the settings you can toggle what parts of the interface you want to be removed as a part of the Clean Screen command. To toggle between the dark and light user interface, Right-click on the ribbon and select it from the drop-down menu, or enter Color Theme into the command line. Be sure to check out our other tutorials.